Greetings and salutations everyone! Welcome to a brand new Let's Play! Having gotten super frustrated at Dust Force, I decided to play something nice and relaxing. This game looks nice and relaxing, how about we go and relax with Flyin', a game recently released on Steam. It looks pretty good, how about we check it out together? Start up a new game, play. Okay, so, apparently this game, we take control of some sort of benevolent forest spirit, and we try to restore life to the forest. It sounds fantastic, doesn't it? The art style is beautiful, this game is beautiful. When I saw it, I immediately fell in love with it. I hope that you'll fall in love with it as well. Well, it looks like there are some sort of happy bugs. They seem to live some sort of benevolent, happy life. Of course, nothing will possibly go wrong with them. Flyin'. I'm not sure if that's pronounced flyin', or flynn, or what? Since there's an apostrophe, I assume that it's flyin'. Oh no! Technology! Technology, how dare you come and desecrate this place? What an evil little guy, how dare he? And it looks like his machine just broke, or he left it on, and now it's sucking up everything. Oh man, this really sucks. Oh no, what's happening to our happy beautiful forest? I couldn't believe that disaster was going to strike. It was so peaceful. And it's sucking up under the water as well. And it doesn't look like there's anything we can do to prevent this. What a wasteful, horrible machine you are. How dare you! You will pay for this insolence. And not only did it suck everything up, but it also dispensed trash everywhere. How revolting and disgusting. Mark my words, mysterious flying ship, we will have our revenge! Okay, so something's happening now. Zoom th in through super high dynamic video and we arrive at a small little beetle man, which is actually a seed which unfolds into this creepy little eyeball thing. And it's not creepy at all, it's beautiful. Wow. And I believe that this is the loading screen. Okay, so what are we going to do? Looks like there's some sort of angry guy there and he's given commands and orders. Oh, okay, so we can control this guy. Wow, he's a cutie, isn't he? He looks like some sort of cross between a bird and a fish. Let's fly up here. And, okay, so we fly this way, I guess. Alright, so we control with the control stick and jump with the A button. I'm using the control pad for this because I believe that... <laughs> external controllers are the way to go for platformers. Wow, the graphics are incredible. This game looks so beautiful. All right, do I hold the up key? What do I do? Why up? Uh, okay, so we just go up. Let's go up then. We collect up all the fantastic looking things because they're collectible. And in these sorts of games, anything which is collectible must all be collected. Collect all the collectibles has been always my motto. So yes, there's not terror. There's not too much flying going on at the moment. That's because we're just crawling around. Oh no, there's the evil guy who made a big mess. Are we going to stop him here? Is this the end of the... That was the easiest boss fight in the world. I can't believe how well and awesome I'm doing in this game. What are you about, Mr. Guy? Are you ambushing me? What is this? Oh, well I kind of gathered that I needed to go this way, but thank you for your assistance, Mr. Guy. I would have never found my way without you. Alright. Oh, now we're back to floating around again. So when it's got this weird little background current kind of thing, then I have the ability to fly around inside of it. 
That's fantastic. Did we get all of them? We missed one. I can't believe we missed one. I sure hope that that isn't going to screw up my progress too far. But we shall see. Let's go next and see what the next level's about. This is a happy, peaceful game. Ah, <sighs> such nice, casual, relaxing difficulties. Right, so now we're back on the ground. Not so much flying anymore as we are just crawling around. We don't know too much about the storyline at the moment. So if we hold RT, then we have the ability to hover for a short period of time as we glide gracefully down to the ground. Ah, look at how amazing and beautiful this game is. Very, very pretty. And LT, we have the ability to kind of do something weird. Attach ourselves to the current and just go flying around. Did you just close your eyes? Okay, so we close our eyes and... Or I, and that does something. Spectacular, it looks like. We press the X button. We can apparently sing! Oh, look at the singing peacefulness. This game is so peaceful and happy. It's so beautiful as well. I wonder what the advantage is of, like, activating our... Oh, we can see flowers and leaves and stuff. I don't know why I wouldn't want to just leave it on all the time then. How about we just keep our eyes closed because we see more that way. Whee! And we can sing here as well. La 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 la. Happy flowers. Not don't know too much about the story. All we know is that there was a big machine. I don't see the big machine anymore. And we can walk across this. We hold the down key. We can flip to the other side and cling along the bottom. Let's activate uh, third sight and follow the currents around. Whee! Um, I think I can disconnect myself from the currents at any time I want by just opening my eye. We'll try that now. Yeah, that does seem to be the case. Of course, I can't reattach myself to the current. Once I've done that, though, so that's a bit of a bummer. Alright, so if we hold RT, we can float. And then we can double jump up that way. That seems pretty reasonable. Follow the nice little poppy seeds down, I guess. More flight f and fluttering around. That one was terrible, though. I didn't collect nearly enough seed pods. But then again, I didn't exactly know what I was doing there. <sighs> yeah, this game is practically screaming for me to come back and collect all the stuff I've missed, but we shall see. I wonder what new feature will be released in this level. Okay, so these are solid, but if I close my eye, I can walk through them. It's like phasing into a different reality, I guess. That's kind of cool. So we're getting a little bit more advanced with what we can do at the moment. We can see the unseen. We can pass through the solid. We can progress through the level and complete this amazing game. And not a single hint of frustration thus far. This is a nice relaxing holiday. Alright, let's see if I can go down here. Collect the little seed buds around here. And then, progress onward. Alright, some of them are phased differently, which gives me a very um, winter bottom vibe here. So the objective is, is to utilize the two different worlds in order to collect all the objectives. The objectives being those little seeds. Is there something down here? Hello, can I sing for you? Yay, and you're nice and happy now. Oh, that's just precious. I can collect these seeds in either world. These ones need to be in the dark world, and these ones need to be in the light world. 
Alright, is there anything over here? Yes, there is, but I do need to phase through and into this place. I'd like to get those seeds down there, but I'm not sure how I'm going to possibly get them yet. Perhaps the answer will come to us later. Jump, jump! And I do get a feeling that I've missed a whole mess of the level. Oh no, what is this? Some kind of evil machine f part which has just been shattered. What a terrible mess it's made. Shouldn't just throw your trash around like that. And let's go up this way. Okay, apparently I got no crowns. That's a bit of a shame. I did, however, get a tree man guy. Let's take a look at some of the other options. What is Cocoon? Let's go take a look at Cocoon, because this seems promising. Alright, is this the level hub? Okay, so apparently we can go to different places. What is this? Can I interact with you? What are you? I don't know. Can I go down here? Can I interact with you? What are you? What are you? What are you? I don't understand. Let's go in here and try from this end. Okay, apparently I can't do anything with that at the moment. So let's try this way. Oh, I see. It is the level hub. So if I go back down, this should be another world place. What is this? A lock. We need three somethings. We don't have somethings yet. Hopefully we will get some things in the future, but after all, this is very confusing. There's no dialogue at all. I'm left to interpret everything by myself. What are you? We're going on an adventure to some place. Is this the next level? I don't know, possibly. Let's get out of the current and take a look around. Can we go up here? Alright, I appear to be somewhat stuck. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Is this part of the levels or is this something else entirely? Since there's absolutely no way for me to go, let's get out of... Well, I guess I can't get out of here. Phew. Singing doesn't help at all. And... Yeah, I'm confused. Oh, don't fall down, Mr. Guy. There's death down there. Alright, let's jump as far as we can this way. Is there anything this way? No, just death. Huh... Anything this way? No. Wait a sec. No. Just death as well. Let's go back to the cocoon because I don't believe we're supposed to be there yet. What a shame. That robot guy doesn't seem like such a bad guy. He seems pretty happy. I'm not sure if he knows what he's done or not. I wonder if he'll eventually be our friend. Okay. What are you up to? You're up to more nonsense, are you? Well, we'll just have to put a stop to your nonsense, Mr. Guy. At least until you become our friend. And then you can join in with our nonsense. I mean, do you think I'm up to anything spectacular? No, I'm just jumping around, minding my own business, having a great time. You should join us. And instead of causing shenanigans, we can help rebuild the world together. Won't that just be fantastic and peaceful and in no way, shape or form hazardous to anyone's health or sanity? I believe so. What's this rising pile of... <gasps> rising pile of cogs and gears! No, I don't want to touch the cogs and gears. I want to get away from them. It says rising wall of death. I must get out of here. Okay, we have come across our first challenge beans. We must avoid the beans which are rising toward us, and 
hopefully make it out of here before we just get crushed or ground up into <coughs> nasty little fairy sprite paste. Okay. Well, at least we're getting a bit better. We know how to interact with the world now. So, it won't be too long before we're out of here and to safety again. I love the floating around mechanic and the whole different world shifting. They've mixed a... They've put a lot of thought into this game. Uh-oh. Yay, we made it. Oh no! The rising beans! Oh, we just made it before we just died. This is getting pretty close, Beans. We need to get out of here. This is very dangerous. I guess this is the real first boss level of a kind. Let's go under here. It's kind of dangerous to go across that precarious looking pile of nonsense there. But it's the only way forward. And if we don't move, we'll be surely dashed upon the hideous metal below. Can I jump up here? Yes, I can. It's just taking me a bit of an... No! I... Something happened. I think I died. That's not good. How did I die? Oh, that's right. I was an idiot. And I bumped my head into those cogs right there. How about we avoid them now? Ah, all this careless machinery. Don't they know how hazard it is to the wonderful... How can I get up there? To the wonderful wildlife! How dare they show such inconsiderate natures. Well, at least we can get up here now. Of course we didn't give that guy his comeuppance. But I'm sure he'll get his own soon enough. I lost a life though, that's not good. So, flying. A little bit of flying, a little bit of crawling, a little bit of floating around, a little bit of shooting from the cannon. Hmm. I mean, the game is fun. I'm having a great time with it. Just not entirely sure what to make of it yet. It's. But then again. I did see the trailer, I knew what I was getting into, so let's carry with this as far as we can go. Oh no, watch out Mr. Guy, watch out for the brick! Oh good, it doesn't fall down. Phew, I thought it was going to crush you for a second there. Um, here we go, then sing to you. Sing to you. Will you not listen to my fantastic singing voice? Let me soothe you. Right, I'm a bit confused beans here. Oh, I can roll and dash. That's kind of cool. I didn't know I could do that. I'm definitely confused, Beans, now. Okay. Can I interact with you? Can I hold the down key? Can I look around? Can I get utterly confused and lost and stuck and horrid? Oh no! I'm stuck already and it's not even that far in the game yet! I'm supposed to be interacting with this somehow, but I have no idea how to. Ah oh man, I am such an idiot. Such an idiot. Well, since I obviously don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with this... I guess I'll probably leave it till next time. This seems like a reasonable time to stop. So, as usual, thanks for watching everyone. Join me next time when we play more flying and hopefully get past this potentially horrid bit. I guess that's the suicide button. Goodbye for now.